Hello everyone, my name is Mike, I work for Imprincipal Inc. and I've recently completed the development of Ovo Smash, my first independent game. It's a casual party game for local multiplayer and it will be released on PC, on Steam specifically, on the 10th of October 2017. So throughout development I obviously had to adapt the game for Steam and I came across Steamworks.net which which is this amazing little tool set that can be integrated within Unity to make your game work with Steam from Unity. So I thought that my learnings could be helpful to someone else and uh, I'm here to share some of the knowledge. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna go to our default browser, whatever it is that you have, and now in our search engine, we're gonna type steamworks.net and hit enter. And we're gonna click this link over here to go to Steamworks. And here you can take your time to read all of this, but essentially what this is, is a C-sharp wrapper for Valve Steamworks API, which is exactly what we need. And it's free and it's great. So let's go to installation. Again, you can read to your own leisure. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to go to the releases to get the Unity specific package, which is down here. And now we're gonna click it and it's going to begin, begin a download. You click save file and you download it wherever you want it to go. I'm not gonna do it now because I've already done it. As you can see, I've put it here, okay? So what you do at this point is you would double click this. Of course, it is assumed that you have an open project. Here, Ovo Smash is already open. Now I'm going to minimize all of these things because you really have no use for seeing them. They don't matter to you. Uh, they are the bowels of my game, so to speak. And I'm going to minimize this stuff, my scenes, the scripts that you don't need to see. Whoop, right there. Sorry, it takes a, a few seconds, but I'll be done soon. Shaders, standard assets, textures, and BBA. All right, so here, as you can see, there's quite a lot of scripts. Now, all of these are the scripts that uh, Steamworks.net is going to use in order to communicate to Steam. So your game is going to be capable of communicating with Steam using one single script that we're going to use a lot. And this single script is found here in script steamworks.net steam manager.cs. Okay, another script, uh, another thing that's quite important is you'll see there's something that goes in the editor. Now this stuff is very useful because as soon as you install it, as soon as you import it, it's going to do, it's going to copy some files and create some other files within your project that Steamworks.net needs. We're gonna, we're gonna look at one, but we're not gonna focus on anything more. So I'm not gonna import now, but you would. I'm gonna hit cancel. As soon as you import, you'll see that a lot of stuff gets imported uh, and built. And the one thing that I want to show you right away is that if you right click on your assets and go to show in Explorer, okay, let's take a look. Down here, there's a Steam app ID.txt. Now, by, the, by default, when you open this one, it's going to read 480. Okay? 480. Now, this is a generic number for Space War or something. Now, this is the number of your game. Every game on Steam has a number and yours is gonna be no different. So let's go and take a look on Steamworks, okay? Which is different to steamworks.net. This is the actual Valve Steamworks, okay? So I'm gonna log in with my credentials. And I'm going to assume that all of this you guys have already done. You're already a Steamworks dev partner. You've already paid the fee for a game submission. You already have a game. I'm gonna go to Ovo Smash here which as you can see, it's ready to go. Like I said, release October 10th. <laughs> anyway, so uh, in here, we can see right here up top, there is a number. This is the unique number that belongs to our game. So what you do is you select it, you copy it. I press Control C here. You'd go here and you'd paste it. Then you would save this file and close it. Okay, so now we're almost ready uh, to get uh, things working. So let's go back to Unity. And what I did is I created an object, an empty object. I called it Steam Manager. And then I put the Steam Manager um, script on it. So let's double click it to take a look. And there's the Steam Manager script. 
Now it's got all sorts of uh, things going all sorts of things are going on here and we're not going to go into detail. I'm just going to go into very specific areas that I'm going to highlight for you. So let's take a look at Awake. When we go in Awake, we go down and right here, you see I've already set it up so that the correct number is there, pardon me, 480 would be there by default, right? And we would replace it with our software's number, okay? Right here. <clears throat> Now, what does Steam Manager do? Well, we're in Awake here, and as you can see in Awake, it does a bunch of things. You can read all of the various comments here for in-depth knowledge, but essentially what it does is it enables Steam. It ensures that your game is launched from Steam and nowhere else, and if it's launched from anywhere else, the application gets closed and relaunches within Steam. It also ensures that after you've closed the application, uh, Steam itself also registers that you closed it, okay? And uh, yep, so I, it, another thing that it does that is very important is it does callbacks, which you'll see right here. Uh, we'll talk about those later. So one thing that I have done for my Steam Manager uh, is I have added a, a public boolean myself, okay, called Steam Enabled, and I've put it right into Awake. So if Steam is enabled, do the entire thing. If it's not enabled, then what you're going to do is you're going to turn off the entire game object, right? So disable the game object. Now, the reason why I've done this, and you learn this through trial and error for sure, is that when you press this play button and Steam is enabled, well, Steam right here is going to recognize that you're playing Ovo Smash, okay? Now, it's not going to work super properly, but it's going to work well enough. And it's going to stay in-game until you, in fact, not stop the code, but rather exit Unity. Okay? So we're not particularly bothered about that right now. But this is going to sound crazy, but believe it or not, technically speaking, you basically are already done. This is all it takes to make your game communicate with Steam. Now, of course, we've only done the basics, right? So you can shift tab while playing and all of that stuff. Okay, um, but uh, but you don't have any achievements or any of that stuff. For that, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take care of that in the next uh, video. So uh, let me think for a moment here. If this is it, I think this is it, and I'm gonna stop this video now. So if uh, you found this useful, um, please leave a like or subscribe or let me know uh, in comments if you have any feedback to give me by all means negative or positive everything is great and if you found it so useful that you would like to share it with other people and everything like that well the best way you can support me absolute best way is if you go on steam and you purchase a copy of ovo smash uh, it's only <clears throat> uh, six american dollars in cost and uh, with that, I will bid you farewell to the next video. Thank you.